I'm Gary Nickerson. And I'm Quinn Taggart. And this is Outside My Window. Well, you know what? This is <laughs> this is, hasn't happened to us. We've been going at this for almost a year. We've had a late second, last minute cancellation. I we know. We don't have anybody to talk to this week. What, what are we going to do? I, I, I think we should just try to... Uh, uh, drop somebody in at the last second, Gary. Why don't, why don't you just go through the contacts on your phone, see oh. if you can find somebody, and, and we'll just ring them up and chat with them. Okay, because I still have a lot of contacts yeah. from when I was at the CJLS newsroom. Well, let me have a look here. Okay, let me see. No, we already talked about oh, there. No. Oh, wow. I can't believe I have his number. Who's that? S. Claus. Oh, get out of town. You still got their number? Santa Claus. Wow. I wonder I, if he'll answer. I'm assuming it's still a good number. Gee, uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Why oh, not? my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like a little kid. All okay, right. let's... Uh, Dial them up. And send and call. Here we go. Good morning. It's Mrs. Claus speaking. But really? Uh, you, Mrs. Claus? Yes. Yes, good morning. Oh, who am oh, I speaking gosh, with? Oh, gosh. Good. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Claus. This is I'm Gary Nickerson and with me is Quinn Taggart. Hi, Mrs. Claus. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Gary, not Gary Nickerson from CJLS. <laughs> yes, it is. You know me? Well, we listen to CJLS here in the North Pole. I haven't heard you for a long time. Awesome. Yeah, I've been retired for a, a couple of years. And yeah, so like we do a podcast, uh, Mrs. Claus, and we um, you know, we thought we'd uh, get a hold of uh, Santa Claus. I know it's kind of a last minute thing, uh, but we're very pleased to talk to you because nobody, we don't really hear from, from you, Mrs. Claus. Is, I suppose Santa's doing something, is he? Santa's gone to, uh, after the reindeer at the moment, but he's only in the yard. I can probably get him soon. He's probably getting hungry. He'll be in, I'm sure. <laughs> How is everything in Yarmouth? <laughs> oh, very good. Very good in Yarmouth. Uh, uh, no snow yet, but, uh, you know, of course, we, I, uh, you know, we know that doesn't stop Santa Claus. No, not, not at all. We've been very busy here in the North Pole. Oh, I bet. So when do things really start up? Well, things start up really early. Well, we start the, in the start of the year, we go to Cuba for a little bit. Santa shaves his beard and, you know, I try to pack good clothing for him. But in May, June, you know, the work starts again and the elves are raring to go. Some of them build the toys, some of them test the toys. This year we have 676 of them. Wow. That's a lot of people, a lot of elves to look after. I look after the cooking and the cleaning of them and getting 676 elves to brush their teeth. And it's really quite a chore. And uh, they're pretty good eaters. They like pasta. We always have a pasta night. They like pizza and uh, a good roast beef dinner on Sunday. But for breakfast, you know, I'm trying to make bagels and healthy sandwiches and they want Fruit Loops. What sort of an exercise routine have you got them on? Oh, they do a lot of snowball fights outdoors. That's their favorite thing. Snow angels. Just walking in the snow, as you know, uh, is quite difficult. Although they're quite light on their feet. They're, they're fast. They're really good toy makers. Of course, we don't make all the toys that we give to the children. Some of them are special, and we have to get manufacturers to help us. But uh, they like to test the toys, too. If a toy doesn't work at all, we, we will stop producing it. So we test toys quite, quite early in the game. Then they sing all day between that. And they keep putting those uh, blinking LED bulbs in the lights. And it just it's way too hectic for them. I'm always changing them out. 
You and Santa Claus have been married for, you know, hundreds and hundreds of, of years. Uh, that, that's a long we time, and obviously yeah. you two get along really good. We do. When we met, you know, my mom, she didn't really want me to go with Santa. She said that I needed to find somebody with a steady job, not a seasonal job. But uh, he does a lot of good work, and everybody loves him. It's hard not to love Santa. But uh, he couldn't do it without me. I'm going to put a plug in for myself. I have to look after the cooking, keep track of the letters for him in the evening. He reads the letters, and there's a lot to do. And when he starts traveling to places in Nova Scotia to talk to the kids, I have to feed the reindeer. And the people around the world don't have to worry about uh, COVID because Santa and I have had our COVID shots, and so have the elves. And there's no cases in the North Pole. And, I was uh, going to ask right that. Now, so, uh, you know, COVID, COVID hasn't really impacted the operation in, in, the, uh, in Toyland? No, not at all. And Santa right now, we're, we're just getting him really healthy with a lot of healthy foods. And as much as he likes chocolate chip cookies, you know, I'm trying to get him to eat fruit for dessert. Because when he goes out for Christmas, he gets a lot to eat. In uh, Denmark, they feed him rice pudding. And then he stops to Ireland, and there they give mince pies. And he loves mince pies, but it gives him indigestion. So they, I've got to get the word out to Ireland that, you know, they have to give him something a little lighter. And the reindeer, the reindeer, the carrots, I mean, it's wonderful because I'm so pleased you called. I was oh. quite, how did you get our number? Oh, well, and, and thank you for your kind words, Mrs. Claus. And uh, if you, you know, kind of put in a good word to Mr. Santa Claus. Uh, so uh, when I used to work at the radio station, of course, uh, we were provided, uh, Santa Claus provided the radio station with the secret Santa number, right? And I just yeah. happened to have it still in my contact list on my iPhone. Uh, I think I hear the door. Do you want to speak to Santa? Oh yes, please, Mrs. Mrs. Claus. If he's if he's got a few minutes. All right, I'm going to give you uh, Santa. Okay, thanks it's so Gary much, Mrs. Claus. Thanks again. Yes. Thank you. Hello, Santa here. <gasps> Santa. Yes. Th Who is this? That's really. Oh, oh my God. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, oh, this is Gary Nickerson, Santa. I um. I used to work at, oh. at CJLS Radio. Oh. oh, yes, I remember you. Do you, you remember me? Oh. 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 oh, 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 I most certainly did. Oh, my goodness, you never made it on that good list, did you? Oh, 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 oh my goodness gracious. It's, well, how's life been treating you, Gary? Are oh, you, uh, very good, Santa. Thank you so much. And my wonderful. good friend Quinn is here. I remember when I was a little kid, oh. one night I, 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 I heard you. And we used to leave you uh, cookies and milk and carrots for the reindeer, and they were gone in the morning. Yes, they most certainly were. My goodness gracious. And yes, I remember, Quinn. I think I got stuck in his chimney once. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness oh my gracious. That's why there was a mess in the morning. I remember now. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, and I'm sure it wasn't cookie crumbs, it was soot. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gracious. Well, uh, I... I it, it, it's not time to read letters, is it? I, I, I'm, I wasn't expecting this phone call. Oh, I, I know. Oh, Santa, it was uh, like we had a little, we had a guest lined up and there was a last minute cancellation. Oh, I said to Quinn, I said, what are we going to do? And he said, well, why don't you look in your phone and go through some contacts? Because I used to have, you know, from when I was in the newsroom and I was going through the phone, Santa Claus, and there was a S. Claus and the special, you know, a special oh. secret number. And, oh, and, oh. and we called and... And, and Mrs. Claus, aunt, and you came on the phone. Well, my goodness gracious, did she talk your ear off? <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> yes, she's a delight. Oh, she certainly is, but she's a little shack wacky. <laughs> Oh, 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 my goodness. Poor thing's been cooped up with the elves all year. Oh, my goodness gracious. How oh. are the elves, Santa? How are they doing? Oh. How are they making it? The elves are doing wonderful. My goodness gracious. 
we're back in the swing of things in the workshop and we're in, going full tilt. Uh, Christmas in just, well, a little less than a month, so things are, are starting to get into high gear. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, and you mentioned letters, and the letters, I, I, I know they're going to start next week, so uh, I, I know that all of our listeners can tune in and, and hear, you, uh, hear you do all the letters next week. Oh, absolutely. And it's a, a good idea to get your letters out to Santa. And uh, then from there, stay tuned. We'll be on the radio. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, it's, it's so good to hear from you guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. Thank, well, thank you, you, Santa. What, what did you do with your summer, Santa? I, I, people, oh, my summer. I, oh, I, I think well, people would like to know like what you do in your off time. Uh, well, Santa, Santa visited Cuba this year. Cuba? Oh, wow. Yes. Yes, Santa visited Cuba. And uh, it, was, it was nice. It's a little warmer than it is here at the North Pole. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh my goodness! And I, uh, I, I won't share anything about my tan line. Oh, 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 oh my goodness gracious! Oh, but it was great, relaxing fun. Mrs. Claus came down with me, and we we spent a week and a half there, and I was ready to come back home to the cooler temperatures. Oh, oh, oh. Did, you, did you have to wear a disguise, Santa? Oh, well, see, in the summer, I shave my beard. <laughs> oh, 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 when I go to Cuba, so nobody recognizes me. <laughs> oh, 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 and, it, oh, well, Gary, yeah, it, 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 it's not like I lay on the beach in my Santa suit either. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. So after after uh, vacation in Cuba, Santa, uh, what what else do you do in the off time? I'm sure there's some maintenance that needs to be done on the sled and and the reindeer oh, yes. need to rest too, and so on. Absolutely. So we we make sure the the vets come in and then take a look at all the reindeer, make sure they're ready for the upcoming Christmas season. And like you say, the sleigh, we usually repaint it every year because all that traveling around the world tends to peel the paint. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. And uh, then other than that, we, we start working in the workshop again uh, in about July. So J- May and June are, are fairly quiet, but starting in July, we, we start again in the workshop. And it uh, usually by a little after Halloween, it starts getting pretty serious in the workshop. And uh, we get all hands on deck down there. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness. my goodness so Sa- sad oh you're gonna to have to forgive me i was a professional broadcaster for 40 years and i'm talking to santa claus and i've got so many questions so f- so forgive me santa if I- i'm a little rattled oh, no problem <laughs> i can't oh, believe you're talking oh, to santa claus oh, I, know. I know so okay oh, when you're on goodness. vacation what what do all mm-hmm. the elves do because i understand some of them are are you know a little mischievous well, yes, and and this year we got back from Cuba, and lo and behold, I walked in, and all the reindeer were in the workshop instead of in the barn, and uh, the uh, the elves who had taken over the barn, and they had made a uh, what do you call it, uh, like a slip and slide, <laughs> and uh, oh, it, it was quite a scene. Oh, my, oh, oh. Oh, you can just imagine one elf after the other. It uh, takes uh, a little while for, for those five or six hundred elves to slip and slide. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I, I'm trying to think, you know, all the kids that are listening now, the questions they might have. So, like, what, so what do elves eat? Do, is there, like, oh. elf food? Or? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh they, they eat the same as Santa, just in very small portions. Oh, 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 my goodness. No, they like anything at all. They're, they're not very fussy. And, of course, Mrs. Claus is a very good cook and a very good baker. Always cookies on the go, and there's always hot chocolate. And, of course, there's healthy meals, too, because eating healthy meals is very important. The elves are so busy when they're working in the workshop that... They need to be in top, tip-top form. So, so Santa, what, what do you do to help keep yourself in, in shape? Uh, next question, please. <laughs> oh, oh, 
<laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Well, I, uh, to tell you the truth, Gary, I, I walk and run or walk on the treadmill every second day. Uh, and then I try to get out for a walk if there's no blizzards outside. And uh, I have an exercise bike in my room as well. Uh, and Mrs. Claus is always... Uh, uh, pressuring me to make sure I get my exercise in every day. Uh, but of course, when uh, the uh, pressures of working in the workshop and supervising all the elves takes over, well, sometimes my exercise uh, is a little uh, lacking. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, so Santa, you're, you know, you're known as a, as a jolly old elf and, 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 you know, a little bit of a, a, a well, you're Santa Claus. So often, you know, when, so when you go on vacation, like when you went down into Cuba, uh, you know, mm-hmm. you have to be careful not to lose too much weight, or do you kind of put a little bit back on, you know, before you head out Christmas Eve? Oh no, no! I in Cuba, I fit right in. Oh, 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 oh! Oh my goodness gracious! The only thing I don't wear is speedo. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 well, there's oh. a visual I really didn't need, Santa. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. Isn't that the truth? Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So, Santa, uh, you, you mentioned that you mentioned that Mrs. Claus is, is a really great cook. What's your favorite meal that Mrs. Claus makes for you? Oh, my goodness. What is my favorite meal that she makes for me? She makes a very good chili and a very good lasagna. And those are probably my favorite two meals. They're good comfort food for for those cold nights. And there are many cold nights here in the North Pole, of course. Well, and and you know from our area, some of the the local uh, fare are lobster and rapi pie. Have you have you tried oh, yes. them? Oh yes, a lot of little boys and girls leave Santa some sandwich lobster sandwiches or rapi pie, and Santa looks forward to visiting Yarmouth County and that whole Acadian Shores area just for that food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. I don't need cookies or uh, chocolate milk when I'm in uh, the Armit area. I look for the lobster sandwiches and the rocky pie. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. You have very good taste, Santa Claus. So, with Well, the, what you know, can I say? <laughs> with the billions oh. and billions of homes that, that you visit so magically on, on Christmas Eve, you know, just put everybody, I'm sure, leaves... You know, some kind of a snack out for for you and and, and the reindeer. Yeah, she must get kind of full by the end of your trip. Oh, oh, oh! Well, you see, with all the presents I get rid of, it makes more room in the sleigh for my uh, uh, my belly. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Oh my goodness! But, no, seriously, Santa does take a lot of the snacks and takes them back to the North Pole and. Uh, Sometimes if there's too much food, like uh, some some countries, they'll leave like entire meals. And Santa usually will make a quick stop at some food banks here and there to help out those who are not as fortunate as we are to give uh, to share those uh, those special treats with other people. Oh, and, that, and that's very great. Nice. That's very nice. Uh, right. Santa, I wanted to ask you about NORAD. So Nor- oh, yeah. NORAD's tracking you every Christmas Eve, and people can go online and, and, and watch now, uh, which right. is really cool. Um, at what point did, did you let them track you? I can't imagine them just kind of happening across it. You must have let them track you. So how, how did that all come about? Well, that, that's a very good question. Uh, we we were in talks uh, with NORAD for many, many, many years. And uh, finally, we came to an agreement that, yes, they could track me. Uh, but after I was done my run, there was no to be no indication of where Santa actually lived in the North Pole, because it's kind of a secret, and it, it, it would take away from the magic. But the boys and girls can follow Santa all around the world on Christmas Eve uh, by logging on to, or by uh, going on the NORAD site. It's, it's wonderful. Uh, and Santa's very glad that we, we allowed that through the years. 
Santa, with, with all the technology that's out there now and, and social media and everything else, are, are you on TikTok? Uh, is that a clock? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's, it's like it's like Facebook. You just make little videos. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I I can't say that I'm on the TikTok. No, I, I'm on the Facebook though, and I'm on the Instagram. Oh, 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 oh! At least that's what my elves tell me. Oh my goodness gracious! Santa's so, not very technologically savvy. You're, you, you should be quite impressed that I was able to answer the telephone. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. So, Santa, we, you know, everybody's been pretty stressed out the last 18 months with this COVID stuff. Oh, and, absolutely. And so how, how, does, how has that affected um, your operations? You know, has, has it been a, a problem for you? Well, so far, knock on wood, uh, it really hasn't been a big issue. We had a few elves that uh, uh, seem to, to have some symptoms, but we have some wonderful doctors here in the North Pole, and they they helped them out, and all the elves and Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus were all double vaccinated. And uh, so it, it, as far as, as affecting us, not a whole lot. I don't know if the cold has anything to do with that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. But uh, we, uh, so far, so good. Oh, my goodness. And last year, I know, and I, and I think it's a concern this year, too. Would Santa be able to, to visit all the boys and girls around the world? But uh, because of COVID, of course. But uh, yes, it's, it's never an issue. Santa has a lot of magic up his sleeve. And... Uh, we we make sure that all the boys and girls get visited on Christmas Eve. People are stressed. They're you know at home a little bit more, and they're uh, kind of cooped up. And and as you mentioned, you know Mrs. Claus is a little shack wacky, and that and that's normal, I think, for 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 you guys. But you know, if if you're feeling a little under the weather or whatever, who who do you talk to? Well, uh, Mrs. Claus has a great ear uh, that I can uh, uh, borrow every now and then to, to have a little chat. But uh, if, uh, if I need more than that, then sometimes it's not even a thing of, uh, of always talking. Sometimes a little bit of fresh air, a uh, change of scenery will, will, will heal the mind and the soul. So, yes, that's, I, I think, just... A change of scenery and and knowing that you have a person or two in particular that you can talk to makes things much easier. Santa, you, you mentioned a couple of times the word you know magic and, and and magical, and I think that's the wonderful fascination that that kids of all ages, from you know they say nine to ninety two, it, it, you're so magical. I mean, you, you can travel the whole world, every house. In, in one night, you can go down chimneys. It's just so wonderful, Santa. That, and, and, and I think probably, as, you know, as, as Quinn was alluding to and what you were saying, that, that we, no matter how old we are, we, we look to the magic of Santa Claus, you know, during times like this. Would you, would you agree? Oh, absolutely. You're never too old or too young to appreciate and enjoy the magic of Christmas. If people are feeling cooped up or are not able to, to get out or whatever the case may be, Christmas is a wonderful opportunity to gather with family and friends and, and just celebrate the magic that is Christmas. Okay. Uh, hey, Quinn. What? Do you think we should ask him if if we're on the list? Yeah. Okay. What? Oh, well, I guess you... What? what? Uh, what uh, sorry, that? Santa. Oh, that was rude. I, I just, I'm just still so nervous. Oh. So, Santa, oh. I, I was oh. wondering if, oh. if, <laughs> if, uh, if if Quinn and I were, you know, on, on, on the, the good or not naughty list. Are, are you well, able to tell us? Well, I'll, um, well uh, I'll tell you you're on a list. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, I, I just haven't had the time to uh, check uh, whether you're... Uh, oh, I think the line is going scratchy. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, my goodness. Well, Gary, in all honesty, so far this year, you're, you're, you're on the good list for, for the first of a few times. Uh, but there's still a month left to Christmas. So uh, the possibilities for uh, changing over are endless. So you make sure to be good. I pro- Santa, I promise. I promise I'll be good. Always. I promise. We'll, we'll see if you stay on the good list or not. And, and as for Quinn, well, yeah, Quinn, you're, you're on the good list too, but uh, the company that you keep sometimes <coughs> uh, that might be uh, uh, not a healthy thing for you to stay with uh, or stay on the good list, uh, I'll, if you I'll know what I mean. I'll work on that, Santa. I'll work on All right. Yes, uh, you work hard. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, my goodness. So how is retirement, Gary? Oh, oh, it's been very good, Santa. Thank you so much Wonderful. for asking. And, uh, oh, I'm yeah, I appreciate so glad. it. And, and I know, because I, I moved a couple of years ago, so I'm in Arcadia oh. now, and, and, and you came last year. I was like, so excited, so I know. Yeah, oh, she, i, I got to ask, I mean, are you always so jolly and so happy, Santa? Well, Santa needs to try to be happy and jolly. All the time. So, if a person's not happy and jolly, how how is he going to to share uh, the happiness and joy with other people? If I was here crying or or yelling or being you know, sourpuss, how would people uh, react to that? They they would become sourpusses too. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! So Santa tries to be happy and jolly all the time. And it's like spreading the magic of Christmas, except you're spreading the joy. And that's really what it's all about, whether we're in January, February, March, right straight through to December. You don't have, it doesn't have to be Christmas to be happy and jolly. Santa, you know, you, you mentioned about, about Gary and his retirement, but we don't have to worry about Santa retiring, do we? Oh, no, my goodness, Santa still got a few other hundred years and probably well beyond that. And uh, Santa's around for, for a very, very long time yet. Oh, oh, I still have a few couple hundred years under my belt. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness gracious. So you mentioned that everything's kind of ramping up. You know, at, at, here we are, tail end of November, and, and everything should right. be just getting about ready to go. Um, do you do any dry runs? Like, do, do you test things out? Well, uh, to a certain degree, of course, we can't really leave the North Pole, uh, because uh, that uh, might uh, <laughs> oh, get some already excited children in nearly, or, or uh, far more excited. Imagine seeing Santa on NORAD on December 4th. <laughs> Oh, oh, those poor parents. Oh, my goodness. So we do dry runs, but just in the, in the North Pole area, just to make sure everything's top-notch and, and running the way that it should so that there are no glitches on Christmas Eve. And knock on wood, for the last several hundred years, there have been no glitches at all. Thank goodness. You know, I was thinking, you know, Back when I was a kid, you know, toys were a lot simpler, a lot different uh, than than now. And you always seem to to keep up with, uh, you know, the the, the changing times. That's got to be really hard, Santa, and especially the elves. I mean, they're, like you said, they start. You say they start around July and and start working. Wow, they got to right. have some energy. They most certainly do, and and they're very uh, resilient. They they start a uh, part of their work in July is researching what the hot trends are going to be for Christmas, what the big toys are going to be, or whether it's Xbox or, or uh, whatever the case may be, uh, Hatchimals, or every year there's something different, but they're always on top of things to make sure that they know what kids are going to be asking for so that we can make sure we have plenty of them uh, going on in the workshop. Well, you know, I, I think a question that everybody would love to hear as well is, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, Elf, without a doubt. Elf? 
Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, I love Elf. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's the closest thing to picturing the North Pole as I've seen in any movie. Of course, uh, the Santa Claus was pretty close, too. Uh, but still, I laugh much more when I watch Elf. Oh, oh, oh. Do you think Hollywood oh, has has captured your essence i mean it's got to be really hard to, to to do that and 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 to be able to uh get that on film it, it is but it's it's not so much capturing the imagery of what the north pole is like so much as capturing the magic of what christmas is uh, and there are so many movies. Hollywood has done a great job in a lot of movies to capture that magic. It's a Wonderful Life, going way back to, to the old movies, to Elf, to Home Alone, to uh, the the Santa Claus movies. It's uh, yes, I kudos to Hollywood. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness. So do you, do you read a lot of books as well, Santa, in, in your time off? No, not at all. I read letters. Ah. Uh, yes, lots sense. of letters. Do, do the kids write letters to you in the off season, or they try try to get ahead of and try to get Some ahead do. of the rush? Uh, enough to keep me busy reading. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Most of the letters start around the start of November. Uh, that's the heavy duty. It, it certainly keeps the postman around here busy from the start of November right up until Christmas Day, usually. So Santa's always very busy reading letters then. But the rest of the year, there are still some some children who like to write just to say hello. And uh, Santa always reads those. He's not always able to respond or reply to the letters. But just so they know, Santa reads every letter that comes through, especially uh, Christmas wish lists that come in uh, in November and December. Santa sees each one of them. Santa, I've always wondered, you know, like I said, when I was a kid, we used to leave the, you know, put the snacks out, then it was off to bed for me. And right. and when it came down in the morning, I was so excited, I ran down the stairs, but the doors to the living room where the Christmas tree was were closed and I had to wait for my grandmothers to come and all of that. And I was always wondering, have you, you know, have you ever been caught as a, you know, little boy or little girl kind of ever caught a peek at you during that magical night? Well, I'll tell you, a few have through the years, but uh, with uh, a little bit of coaxing or a little bit of uh, uh, magic, uh, they tend to forget. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, that Santa was there. It's kind of like a dream. Sometimes you dream and you wake up in the morning and you know you've dreamt. You just can't remember what you dreamt about. It's kind of the same principle with the magic that we have. Santa's there and sometimes the children see him, but hmm, in the morning, hmm, they're not so sure. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, it must have been just a, a great dream for them to be able to think that they've met Santa Claus. I mean, that, that well, just of must course, be I hope so. Yes, right. On. Now, animals are a different thing. Santa's not a big fan of uh, barking dogs and uh, uh, kittens that like to uh, uh, attack and scratch. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I remember one Christmas we I slid down the chimney and came into this family's living room, and there were two Doberman pinchers there. And when I went back up the chimney, uh, my suit was all in tatters. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! But I got the job done, and I even left the puppies a treat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Oh my goodness, the fun we've had, and the fun we continue to have. Oh my, my, my! Santa, as as a as a wrap up, and we certainly appreciate you taking the time to chat with us. But if you had to pick a memory, uh, uh, I know I know it's tough, but you know if you had to pick a memory that that sticks in your mind, have you got one? Oh, most certainly the 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 biggest memory, and it's it's more than one of the sim similar memory. It's visiting boys and girls in uh, who who are in hospital around Christmas. Santa loves to make appearances at the hospital to visit the boys and girls 
who are uh, not as lucky with their health as other boys and girls. Some are very sick, some not so much, but they're in the hospital for a reason. And Santa, that is Santa's favorite part of being Santa. And it always has been, and I have a feeling it always will be. Bless your heart, Santa. We're so thankful for you. And I can, it, thank you so much for talking to us. I can't believe, Quinn, we oh, just oh, talking oh. with well, Mrs. Claus and, and Santa Claus. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It was my pleasure. I would say any time, but, uh, you know, things are getting a little busy now. But uh, give me a call later this spring. We'll, we'll uh, shoot the breeze. <laughs> Oh, Maybe oh, we'll oh, oh. <laughs> hit you right down to Cuba with you, Santa. Oh, well, I, I, if, if you pay your own way, sure. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, my goodness. Thank you again, Santa Claus. All righty then. Be good and try to stay on that good list, Gary and Quinn. We will, Santa. We, will. we promise. We will. I hope you say the Santa Pledge with me every day after we read letters. Promise to be good in every way. And do you know the rest? So I can help make every day almost as happy as Christmas Day. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my goodness. All right, then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Santa. Bye. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party. A mistletoe hung where you can see every couple tries to stop.